Anna coming to you from the beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious ice cream cone cards using the Cool Treats bundle. Now this bundle consists of the Cool Treats stamp set and the Frozen Treats framelits. And if you purchase both of these together as a bundle, you can save 10%. I'm also using two in colors that are going to be retiring really soon. They are Mint Macaron and Watermelon Wonder. Now, if you haven't already gotten these colors, you'll want to make sure that you get them before April 10th because that's when they're going to be out on the retiring list and then they'll only be available while supplies last. I'm going to show you two tips today while making this card. One tip is how to use up some of your paper scraps and the other tip will be how to bend the photopolymer stamps so that they can be used around shapes like the oval in this card. So why don't we get started and I'll show you how to make these cards. To begin you're going to need your Big Shot and I've got my magnetic platform on here and a cutting plate already down. You're going to need some scrap pieces of cardstock. I've got a piece of thick whisper white, a piece of mint macaron, another piece of mint macaron, and a piece of delightful Dijon. Then we're going to use the layering ovals framelits and I'm going to use the third largest scallop oval and I'm going to put that on my mint macaron piece like that. We're going to be using the stitched shape framelits and we're going to be using the second largest oval. I'll put that on my thick whisper white piece. And then we're going to need two pieces from the frozen treats framelits. We're going to use this ice cream scoop up top and we'll put that on the mint macaron. And then we're also going to use this cone right here and we'll put that on the delightful Dijon piece. And then I'll put my other cutting plate on top and we'll roll this through. So we've got our two ovals and they'll layer up like that. Then I've got my ice cream scoop and I've got my ice cream cone. Next we're going to need a card base and so I've cut a piece of thick whisper white cardstock to 11 inches by four and a quarter inches and then I've scored it in half at the five and a half inch mark. Then I'm going to fold it along the score line and use my bone folder to smooth down that fold. So you know how sometimes you'll end up with little tiny scraps of designer series paper left over and sometimes you're not really sure what to do with them. I'm going to combine some of these scraps together to make a layer to go behind my oval. So these are pieces from the 2015-2017 in color designer series paper stack and they are each four inches by half an inch. So to help align them on the card base, I've taken a plain piece of Whisper White cardstock and I've cut it to four inches by one and a half inches. This is gonna make it a lot easier for me to line things up on the card base here. So I'll take some Tombow glue and I'll take my first scrap piece and I'm just gonna run a bead of glue along the back and I'm going to line it up with the edge of my Whisper White piece. This is just gonna help me align the whole thing. Then I'll take my next piece of designer series paper and I'll put a bead of glue on the back of that one and then I can line it up on here like that. It's looking good. And then one more piece of designer series paper, a bead of glue, and then I'm just going to line it up like that. Now this piece is all ready to be put on our card base and I'll put some glue on the back of the Whisper White piece and I want to center this piece on my card front. That looks pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is to stamp the greeting down here at the bottom. So to do that I'm going to take my scallop oval. I'm going to take a block that is larger than my scallop oval and I'm going to place it over this die cut piece. Then you're going to take your stamp and it's this one right here. It says I hope your day is as sweet as you are and because it's long and skinny it's bendable. So we're basically just going to bend it around the scallop oval. So to do that I'm going to make sure that the stamp is facing the right way and I'm going to put the middle of the stamp 
down at the bottom of the scallop oval and I'm just going to place my finger on the middle and then I'm going to bend up the ends to wrap around the rest of the oval. And I'll do the same thing for the other side, keeping a finger down here at the bottom and I'm just going to bend this up to match the shape of the oval. And if you want, you can just do a little adjusting and make sure that looks good. Then I'm going to take my oval and I'm going to put it right on the top of my card base. I'm not going to glue it down yet. I'm just going to position it how I want it. And then I'm going to take my early espresso ink pad and I'm going to ink up this stamp. And notice I got a little ink up here in the top right corner. I'm just going to take a tissue and get rid of that just so it doesn't accidentally touch down on my project. Then I'm going to wrap the greeting around the bottom of the oval and when I like how it looks, I'm going to stamp it down and lift off. And that's how you wrap your greeting around a shape. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue the ovals together. So I'll take a little bit of Tombow for that and I'll glue my two ovals together. Lift it up because I haven't actually glued it to my project yet. Make sure it looks good. Then I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow in the center of this piece and I'm just going to adhere that down, keeping my greeting down here in mind. Then I'm going to take my little cone, put some Tombow on the back of it and I'm just going to put it maybe half an inch from the bottom of the white oval. And then we just have this little ice cream piece left. And one of my favorite flavors of ice cream is mint chocolate chip. So I just had to have some chocolate sprinkles on my mint ice cream. And I've got the little sprinkle stamp right here. So I'm just gonna stamp this four times on my mint ice cream. Just rotate it so that they fit on there. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals on the back of my ice cream piece. Oh, and these two came off together, so that will work perfectly like that. And then let me just remove the backings. And then you can just add that to the front of the card just overlapping your cone piece a little bit. And there you go, you've got a chocolate chip mint ice cream cone card and it looks good enough to eat. Now for the other card, it's basically the same thing except you're going to use watermelon wonder as your colors. Then instead of the sprinkles, you're just going to die cut a piece of early espresso card stock with this little dip piece right here and then that will give you the layer that you need to add so that this one looks like a dipped cone. Don't you just love the way these cards turned out? And who doesn't love ice cream? So these cards could be made for many different occasions. All the supplies you'll need to make these sweet cards are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Hershey's Chicken and Egg tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store.